we're here at uh, Walmart and we came to pick up parts. Well, the parts necessary to do uh, what are we doing, Les? Uh, I think we're doing um, making a St. Patrick's Day dinner. Yeah, well, that's not really what we're well, doing. That's not what we're doing? No, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> but we did come for. Uh, uh, to pick up some parts necessary to make some uh, under seat storage bypass latches for our scooters. And Wes, unbeknownst to me, has a shopping list that he needs to get taken care of by you know, uh, his wife. I do believe. And that we I'm picking do up what one we item. One item. I'm picking up one item. Oh, I'll and Wes is picking up. <laughs> look at this. He's, he's already getting corned beef and cabbage. Uh, who knows what else he's going to be buying? Probably buy half the store. So we're going to turn a 15-minute trip into a nine-hour freaking trip. Oh look, now we're getting potatoes. You know. Yeah. You know. Anyhow, that's all know. I'm going to say for now. I'm following him around now. Here we go. We're like a, a freaking couple here shopping. Yeah. See. Hey, it looks like Wes found it. He made himself useful. Did you make yourself useful? Oh, uh, this is 30 pounds. So we're looking for some leaders, and that's what uh, on the Bergman forum, they said that uh, one guy said we used a leader uh, to make a, a bypass latch just in case you lock the keys under your seat. I don't, I've never had that issue, but I guess it can be a common problem and you're out on a ride, and it just wouldn't be good, right? I. It would make a, a long day even longer. <laughs> yes, no doubt. So we're we're looking for these leaders and we're going to show you how we, we do this. And we'll go into detail as far as how we're going to fix this. So as soon as we find an appropriate leader that will work, we are going to make that bypass happen. Right, Wes? We are. All right. I've been getting requests uh, to do a seat bypass for the Suzuki Bergman 650, basically like an emergency trunk or a seat release. So if you lock your keys under the seat, you can actually get into it. It kind of defeats the purpose of securing something, but I guess if nobody else knows it's there, you're pretty good. So I've looked at on the Suzuki forum, the Suzuki Bergman forums, and I've seen some methods of how some people have done it. And there was one guy that actually uh, took some uh, fishing uh, uh, leaders and, and made a, a a trunk release or a seat release so I want to go ahead and do that um, I well I'll show you so what I've done so far is I've actually taken my top case off and loosened this cover and you know I took those uh, those little two-piece pins out there's two of them and that just kind of pulled back I don't want to really try to take the whole cover off I think I can get to everything but you can see right here this is the trunk release so um, so you can see these two bolts. I think we can unsecure the bolts and if you look down inside there There's actually the spot where the trunk release is hooked up And I think we can hook one of those leaders to that and actually fish that out We're gonna go ahead and try and I'll show you but first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those two allen uh, bolts loose and then we're that will uh, release that latching mechanism so we can get to it a little better so what I've got here, I got those leaders that you saw me pick up and they're just assorted lengths. And you know, they're they're 20 pound, there's some there's some 20 pound, 30 pound leaders in here. And I'm sure that should be plenty to pull that release. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect those screws and then we'll go from there. All right, with those screws off of there, <clears throat> you can see now that this is separated. So now you can get a good look here at the at the trunk release. So now we're going to try and figure out a way to attach onto that with one of those leaders so we can in a pinch pull this release mechanism to open the trunk. Let's see if we can do that. So I have the leader here. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get this latch behind here. There's no real place. I guess I can I can actually hook it in behind this clevis pin here and so basically it's going to be laying in in behind this pin like that once that's laid behind there you should be able to pull that to release the trunk mechanism can you see what i'm doing here this is very simple to do so 
we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. Hopefully we can make it work so it doesn't bind up or get in the way of anything. What we don't want to do is we don't want to compromise the original equipment. I, I, I kind of wanted to do this without cutting into anything. You know what I mean? I don't want to cut into any of the original stuff. So we're going to go ahead and try that and see how it works out. Okay, so what I did is I removed that pin, pulled the cable off, and I, I, if you can see, I put the leader behind that on that shaft and that should enable me to release the trunk mechanism by pulling this cable so we'll see if we can route it now in a proper way that will stay out of the way it won't be obvious to people that are walking by and uh, see if we can route it in a manner that will make it kind of discreet let's see what's going on here and I'll get back with you as soon as I get this done so now that it's attached, we're going to go ahead and try and route this in a manner that will be discreet, out of the way, and convenient to get to if you need to in a pinch. All right, we got this thing attached, and it's really easy. It doesn't compromise the existing system, so you don't have to cut any cables or anything, and it works great. So I'll show you what I did. The hardest part was just taking off the top case and the bracket, so I took all my top case off, as you can see, and now really... Um, just getting everything back together, that's the most time-consuming part. Actual hooking up of the, the device uh, really wasn't that hard at all. So <clears throat> I'll show you how it works, um, and then I'm going to try and figure out a method to stow it in a way that's kind of discreet and it's not going to bang up the scooter or scratch up the plastics. And again, like I said, I copied this uh, from what I could gather off of the Bergman site. So this isn't anything new. But see, I've got this back in place. This is attached. See how that's attached right there? And I, and I did like somebody else had done. They took a, a key ring and put on the end of it so you have an easy way of pulling that. So now I'm going to shut the, close the seat down. We'll close the seat down. Latch it. It's latched. See, the only thing I see is, I, you, you know, you don't want to have this thing dangling, banging up against your scooter. So you got to figure a, a way to tuck it up under the seat or something. But look at this. It's as easy as this. Now the seat's open. So if you happen to lock your keys under the seat, boom, you're ready to go. Here we go again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now the key. Still use the key. Same way. So both systems work. Now I just have to button this back up. And I'll show you the total finished product when I'm done. And I'll show you how I figured how to place this so it's out of the way. And uh, so I'll get back to you as soon as I get everything put back together. That's all for now. So some of you may be dealing with the backrest. I was actually dealing with the top case. These are the, these are the two uh, pins. You know these pins. If you have a Suzuki Bergman 650, you're familiar with these. Or any kind of Chinese or Japanese uh, bike for that matter uh, with uh, plastics on it. So this pin... Basically, there's two of them right here that hold that into place. So as I put that back together, you just slip it in and pop it down. And that's as easy as that. Same thing with this one. There's another one over here. Slide it in, pop it down. Now, really, all I got to do is put my top case back on, and we're in business. Then we're going to try and figure a spot for this. This is the finished product. I got my top case back on. You may have a headrest. Once you get that all back on, just make sure. So this is how it works. Basically, just make sure that when you set your release up, that you make sure that the routing of this cable is ran away from this pin because the first time around, I actually had it and it was binding up on the pin. And then once you release it, you won't be able to close it because it, it will hold tension on that. So if there's a pinch or anything, so just make sure the routing of that wire is uh, done properly. So this is one of many ways to do it. And uh, see, uh, my key is, you can hear the click. My key is still functioning properly. So it's a good safety mechanism. Uh, in case you lock your keys in the under the seat, you don't want to have to call AAA. And like I said, this is just an old key ring. Um, I'll probably cut this little part of the leader off with a pair of tin snips. And that will just be that much less. You could probably wrap this, do something to keep it from scraping. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm probably going to route it back here somewhere and put a little piece of duct tape back here or, 
or find a way to attach it with Velcro back here underneath and it'll be discreet enough to where I don't think anybody will bother it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm trying to create new videos all the time. Uh, if you guys have a better idea, put it in the comments below, share with me because I'm always open for new ideas. Uh, as far as this trunk release, like I said, I copied it off of uh, the Bergman forum and I just wanted to put a video up for it because I know a lot of people have had questions about it in case I lock my keys under the seat, which I never have done. Usually when my wife and I travel together, we actually uh, give each other a set of keys. So I have a set to her bike, she has a set to my bike, and they're both on the opposite key ring. So we don't usually run into that problem, but a lot of guys that are riding by themselves, this could come in very handy. So. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.